All right, so we got the next one. I uploaded the next um, role play, so it's pretty good. The next, the next cringe material. Uh, there we go. High school romance role play. Basic role play rules: be mature, must have OC. School classes start in two days, so you have time to meet others. This school is a private school, so you can choose to either live in a dorm or at home. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. And my OC is OC number one in my favorite post. Name. Okay, this is great. Name Nikki, age 17. Personality intelligent, charismatic, mature. Studying modern studies history. Cons clumsy housing dorm. Alright, man. My OC. Name Writer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Name Writer Emblem. Okay, no, 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 no. Look. Mr. Nikki here, right? I, I can. He's not cringe really because he's freaking normal. He's a normal freaking person with a normal name, with a normal everything. Normal personality, normal studying, all that stuff. But this one here, this one is great. Name, writer emblem, age 17. Gender, male. All right. Species, demon. All right. Lux, black. Okay, Jesus Christ. Lux. Jesus. I can't read this. Lux, black hair with red tips, usually messy, or put into a beanie. A beanie? You put it into a beanie? Didn't you put a beanie on your head? All right. One soft coffee brown eye and one cold black eye nose ring. Olive skin tattoo with a chunky X over wrist. Has a slender tall figure? Okay. Clothing. Wears beanie. Sometimes wears big black nerd glasses. Wears black v-neck shirt with black and white plaid ja ja jacket. Wears jacket around waist. Oh. I never cringe so much. So much. I don't know, uh, original character description. I just, I, I've never, I never had before. I never have, and now I have. No, I have. OC part two, dinner mail, species. Oh, thank God, Nikki, thank God. Thank God you're normal, Nikki. Thank goodness gracious that you're normal. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, thank you. Thank you for being normal. OC part two, gender male, species human. Preference straight. Nice. Looks in favorite post. Look, okay. Wears maroon skinny jeans with black high tops. Personality loves being dominant. Can't say sand awkward sciences of any kind. Tries to avoid it. Can be very territorial. Jesus. Likes cookie daw. Whipped cream eh? Uh, no, I'm not, not stupid. It's whipped cream. Uh, whipped coat cake. Icing. Interested in every gender. Pan. Oh, is your pansexual? Or do you think you're freaking cool because you're pansexual? All right, man. I can accept that. Can I join? Yeah, just put your OC down. Thanks, but I'll be in my OC 6 on my favorite post. And I'm out of post, sorry, but I'll be back in tomorrow. Good night. Can you guys get like one or two more people to join before we start? OC Lunar in my fave post. Favorite post. I'll join. I'll use Red and Dante for my favorite post. Ew, dude, they're using. He's using OCs from other freaking role plays. Alright, man. Extras. Lunar is an anime lover. Get gets mad. Uh, 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 anime lover gets mad when somebody dies. Is Blood Lad? Is this a zombie ult ultimate otaku character? Sal Blue Exorcist Derp. When was this freaking made? Eleven hours ago. Derp is still a thing. Oh, gonna cringe. Dorm. All right, nice. Okay, me OCs up there. Just scroll up. All right, nice. Don't you have to put like another bracket there? All right, never mind. <sighs> okay, hold on, guys. I need to scoot in my chair here so I can get prepared for this cringe. All right. Let me just turn the brightness up. Great, perfect, nice. All right, great. Writer. All right, we're gonna start with the writer here, guys. Sits on chair. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Sits on chair outside the cafe and drinks coffee. Puts earbuds and turns up music so loud you can hear it from just a couple feet away. See, this is kind of the person I don't want to actually talk to because I hate those kinds of people. Um, I, uh, you know, I mean, gets up from nap. All right, this is Lunar, guys. This is Lunar. Wonder if any more blood lad is out. No, all right. Well, might as well just go outside. Puts an earbuds. Blood's vivid. Walks out. Before I, before I continue. I must search up Vivid. What is Vivid? Well, give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Give me just one second. So, um, Vivid, I just looked it up. It is a five-member Japanese visual K... K, K oh, gosh. I'm disrespecting the Japanese culture. K-rock band from Tokyo. 
born in 2009 and is currently signed with Sony Music, Japan's Epic Records label. Japan label. Oh, God, they put freaking Japan twice. Uh, okay, so we know what Vivid is now. So this guy's freaking into, like, freaking Japan. He's a, he's a weep. He's a weep, all right. He's a weep. This this character here, Lunar, It's he's a weep. He's a weep. So let's just get that out of the way. Um, oh, jeez, get to the bottom of the freaking post. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Some guys, I'm so sorry. So sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. All right. Sits outside by a tree, trying to relax, hears music and sighs. What does it take to get some peace and quiet around here? Walks up to Ryder and taps his shoulder, lying down in the grass outside the cafe. Here we go, Nikki, the normal guy. Sits on bench in school court here by a tree. Six months here, still nobody to speak to. Oh, man, that's so sad, Nikki. I'm so sorry that you're an introvert. I, so I have no potential here. This place is for the top smart kids, not lower core skill. There's hand and face. I need to get back on track. Oh, it's one of those characters. Ew, dude. All right. Walks inside, grabs speakers from his dorm, and plugs it in. And plugs it in. Plays core pride. Oh god. Okay. I need to look that up. And I need to look that up as well. All right, guys. Uh, so I listened to core pride just a little bit, and I cringed. I couldn't even listen to the whole song because I cringed just endlessly. All right. Well, something's starting to walk over there. Is about one foot away. Oh well. Pulls out. Creek de freak starts reading. All right. I'm not even gonna look that up. Probably just a book or something like that in Japanese. All right, probably a manga. Please don't tell me it's a manga. I'm not. I'm not gonna look it up. It doesn't matter. Feels tap takes out one earbud, turns around, narrows, turns around, narrows eyes. Yeah, and mine. Hopefully nothing goes down. Switches song to this game, puts awake. Sir Kedu freak leans back and watches the leaves slowly move in the slight breeze, posing for notifications. <laughs> nice. Oh, Alex, I love you, dude. Um, can you turn your music down? I can hear it all the way from over there. Points to his seat, which was in a corner. Switch a song to, again, OP1 for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Try to turn it up slightly, but hand slips turning it up so anyone in a five foot rate, five feet radius, I'm not just going to say five foot, five foot radius could hear. Try to turn it down, but struggles with phone for about one to two minutes, but finally turns it down. I'm sorry. Yelling. Walks into cafe. Yawns. Some well-needed coffee is needed. Some well-needed coffee is needed. And that was it. That was it, guys. That was the whole role play. And I'm gonna get into my next one. Just uh, give me a second. Oh yeah, be patient. So I had something else prepared, but I really I decided not to actually use it. So I decided to just look for another one. Um, I've got an Undertale roleplay here. I selected this, and I thought it would just be absolutely just impeccable to read an Undertale roleplay. You can be any character. From Undertale, I'm Sans. Anyone, anyone want to be pa Poopy Roos, my brother? I'll be Papyrus. Ness is Sans, so you can't be him because I'm him. Oh, it looks like somebody watches Game Theory. All right, that's pretty cool. Thanks. Nop, nop, uh, nop. See any humans? I'm Lazy Bones. I'll be the Rock. You be the Rock. Nice, dude. I'll be the Rock too. Oh, I wanted to be Papyrus. Um, colon. Capital C. Well, I'll be on my way then. Alright, recipes, dude. Oh, okay, the rock. Why, well, I mean, like, do I... <laughs> Lenny, this is guy's god. By that, I'd be Dwan the Rock Johnson. Jack Johnson, not the rock in the ruins. <laughs> and I'll be Terry. <laughs> oh, this guy's amazing. Uh, Dwayne. I see him, I would say Dwayne. Fine, I'll be Terry Crews. Okay, um, <laughs> this guy's great. Lenny Face. <laughs> this guy. Okay, this guy's obviously trolling, but it's for the good of the, it's for the good of the cause, man. It's for it's for the good of everybody. I'm bored. Humans will never come down here, or they will become skeletons. Walks by sends the pirates. Hello. Oh, hi, Terry. What? I just said hi. Complete silent. That's right. Walks off silent as possible. It's funny because he doesn't know that he's actually trying to troll. Because he has Lenny Face's name. He doesn't even know that he's trying to troll him. Sits in corner and eats spaghetti. Ness isn't Sans. Toby Fox said so himself. End of story. Terry, o o Old Spice is so powerful. <laughs> can't, he can't even stay in the snow where I buried it. Old Spice pops out of the ground, blocking Sans Papyrus from leaving. Block, 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 block for over 16 hours. F this S, I'm out. Oh, 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 oh. 
F this S M out. Um, mm, I don't know. The F just happened, but F this uh, I don't know. Okay. S whispers to Papyrus. Let's go out. Terry is crazy. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh it's by so powerful that putting any bit of it on you makes it easier for me to find you by following the smell of freshness. <laughs> Sands, this is cringe. <laughs> this is cringe. Beautiful. Gets uncomfortably close to Sands. Basically, kid, you can't hide from me. <laughs> Uses beam flash. Narrator, one. Old Spice defeated. 25 XP, 3 gold. Attacks. Direct hit. Direct hit. Takes a bowl of spaghetti and throws it at it at Terry. Runs off. Ye ye ye. The Rock has a big announcement, but you see, The Rock's announcement doesn't concern Terry Crews or Old Spice Hogan, <laughs> the freaking politician. Uh, uh, the The Rock's big announcement concerns Undertale RP. Narrator one. What's that sound? Terry punches Narrator one from the, through the fourth wall. <laughs> you you think you'll let the, that just happen, Captain? Fuck. Captain Falcon Falcon punches Sands and Sands hit 14 trees, 17 trees and dies. Show me your moves. Get dunked on Sands. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. This guy's to be like a, a freaking a uh, like a smash memer or something like that. But he's just a memer. Ends up in Lava Town. Ah, uh, talking cow. Uh, NC's or NC Storio. All right. No, nope, Papyrus eats another bowl of spaghetti. Oh, he finally spoke spaghetti cre correctly. Toriel. <laughs> Luckily for me, Lava Town is in a volcano that is now flooding with lava just be just to be safe. Terry throws a C4 covering all of Lava Town and explodes it. Wow. <laughs> all of Lava Town explodes. Faints. A moment of science. <laughs> a moment of science. Terry makes a grape for Sands out of Old Spice. There. Anyway. Ends up in Toriel's house. Where, where the where am I? What the where am I? Talking cow help. Goes, goes, goes over to Flowey and picks him up and throws him out at Terry. Terry comes out of Sand's beard with Old Spice shaving gel. What do you, what do I look like? A doctor, Old Spice shaving gel. Says the talking skeleton with a beard. No, takes Frisk's knife and throws it, but it also hits a bomb. A miniature man coming out of it. Terry, too, appears in some of a papyrus. So, I see my bombs are cannon now. Was a gigantic cannon and starts shooting bombs at it. <laughs> okay, man. As the bomb blows up, while Terry looks amazing. Colon, zero. Poop Russ. Poop Russ also cut off Sand's beard. <sighs> Tyler, right? Gossip Girl is a teen drama, teen drama television series based on the book series of the same name written by Cecily Von Zid Zidgeser. The series created by Josh Schwartz and Stephanie Savage originally ran for six seasons from September 19th, 2007 to December 17th, 2012. Narrated by the omniscient blogger Gossip Girl, voiced by Kristen Bell. And if you don't know what omniscient means, I guess it means it's all over the place, so she's everywhere. Uh, the series revolves around the fictional lives of the privileged adolescents. So, like, all right. So, the, the, this character here is pretty much observing everybody. She's, she runs the world, apparently, essentially. Terry 3, <laughs> facial hair Terry. Remember all the good times we had? I'm sorry, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Terry 666, oh god. Old Spice is so powerful, it turns off the sun, sun goes out. But then it, t it gets too dark, so it makes another sun. Two suns appear. It's Terry 69, baby Terry. But none as powerful as me. So Terry 666 picks up Terry 69 and holds him towards the two suns. I have a son. <laughs> the fitness grand pacer, oh god, not the fitness grand pacer test me. That thing died already. But. Fitness grab based tests, multi stage aerobic capacity tests. The regressive gets more difficult as it continues. Is this my room here in here? Walk into a room with blue everywhere. Sure. Goes to sleep. That was absolutely beautiful. That was amazing. That was amazing. I think that's that that's probably the best time I've ever had on me first. And I haven't been on here very long. No nothing can top. Freaking Terry, 69, 666, one and one and three. And a two, Terry two, so I mean this is amazing. And uh, the fitness grand pacer test meme, I, you know, you know, it's good. And the uh, description for that one series, yeah. All right, so that was that was it for that one. Um, let's see if I can find any more.